Hi Sagittarius, this is a general love reading for mid-June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and our Venus signs. And as always, it is general, so it is not going to be for all of you and that's okay. You can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. And the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, let's see what is going on. Sagittarius, overall energies for mid-June. Oh, we have bound, okay. So there's some kind of an attachment here that either you or another person is dealing with okay so we'll see what comes through with this um but it seems to be at the forefront at this point in time so could be a good thing okay if it is coming up to the surface to be resolved could be a fear as well but i'm mostly seeing it as <clears throat> being bound being attached to a particular person or situation could be an addiction could be just feeling trapped okay so for you we have the ten of cups the wheel of fortune and the queen of wands okay so i feel like you're on your side, <clears throat> things seem to be pretty strong, pretty powerful. I see you standing in your power. Um, but at the same time, I feel like there's a shift going on within you. There is definitely a connection here with somebody that you feel very, very strongly about. Um, there's a lot of love that you feel <clears throat> for, for someone, but I feel like either something has changed, something is changing, or you're moving in a direction of really standing in your power when it comes to this connection. So we'll see why when we clarify. For them, we have the Hierophant, <clears throat> the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so there's that bound energy here. So the way I'm seeing this, and of course the roles can be reversed. I feel like this person for most of you, is going to be um, involved in another commitment here, okay? Because we have the Hierophant, it could even be a marriage, because um, this does talk about a high level of commitment. It doesn't have to be that, okay? Um, but I feel like this person is bound, is feeling trapped in something, something pretty big in their life, okay? So if it's not a person, it, this could be a situation, this could be work, this could be some kind of an institution, um, just something that they are very, very, what's the word, like just very um, bound to, very committed to, like they just, it's almost like this has been something that is like deeply imprinted in their flesh almost, okay? So for some of them it could even be um, beliefs. All right, if it's not another um, relationship, but for the most part, I do feel like it's another commitment and this person does seem to be feeling a little bit trapped in it. However, we do have the Queen of Swords in the middle here, so there's a lot of clarity though. There's a lot of clarity concerning this situation, concerning the fact that they are keeping themselves bound to it. And I'm also picking up on a little bit of detachment here. So like gradually detaching, from whatever this is, but still having a little bit of fear when it comes to that detachment. So it's almost like they're feeling the detachment, but those feelings are kind of scaring them. So we'll get more when we clarify. So let's see for the near future. We have the five of pentacles for you. For them, we have the knight of cups. Mutually, we have the six of swords and a message for you here is the Three of Swords. All right, Saji. Don't worry, don't worry, because I see, I still see you standing in your power here. And I do see in the near future this person, um, or something coming in, some kind of offer of love coming in. I do feel like it is 
from this same person here that we're talking about. Although for some of you, it could be it could be somebody else. There might be a little bit of a feeling of loss on your end, but I ultimately see you moving away from anything that is conflicting to you. Okay, so the message here is that yeah, you know, there might be there might be some kind of a separation here. There might be some kind of a difficulty. This is not necessarily for you. It could be concerning your person here. Whatever the case, for the both of you, whether it is that you are moving along this path together or going your separate ways, this is the mutual energy. So there is definitely a movement towards things feeling more peaceful, all right? Leaving any blood behind, leaving the wounds behind. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The King of Cups and the Hanged Man. So what you're doing is, is um, you may have felt emotionally stuck. Kind of like, you know, things just weren't going anywhere. Things just felt stagnant. Um, maybe you even felt like you were making sacrifices, emotionally taking a toll on you um, for this connection. And I feel like that is what you are shifting right now. And that is what is moving you into your power here. So I'm actually gonna clarify that Queen of Wands as well. The Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups. Yeah, you're you're setting boundaries. You're um, pretty much standing up for yourself here. I feel like you're kind of saying no to this connection. Um, you're kind of blocking it out, or in some way you're you're like protecting yourself because you at some point felt emotionally drained and like like it was just the same thing over and over and over again within you with your emotions and so now it's like you're moving in that direction of blocking this out and that is helping you to really stand strong here that wheel of fortune it could also be that you know there were certain cycles that were repeating themselves and you're like no more i need to make a change here because those cycles just kept me stuck in the same position I kind of feel like this reading is similar to Leo. So maybe some of you have strong Leo as well in your charts or maybe dealing with a Leo. Definitely let me know. All right, let's see for them. Let's clarify the higher tent. Oh, we have Justice and we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so whatever this is, okay, whatever this um, situation that this person is so heavily tied to, there's, there's movement happening here. And I feel like it is, it's positive movement that is leading to some kind of a balance. All right, this is some karma that needs to play out. There's a lot of lessons involved in this situation and even though it may have felt like you know it was stagnant that it was stuck and you know maybe it was but what i'm seeing here for this person that is in this connection or in this situation lessons are being learned i feel like karma is being resolved and it is moving forward pretty fast in that resolution um, again, with justice being here, because this does also talk about legal contracts. Again, I'm getting marriage. Um, and again, this could be somebody who is thinking about a divorce, all right, with justice being here. And the Knight of Wands. Um, but I do also get, because the Knight of Wands is not, it's not the most um, stable of energies. This person may have been a little bit um, back and forth when it came to this situation. Let's see the Queen of 
excellent. All right, the Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so again, yeah, this definitely does feel like a third party situation, okay, for, for the most part, for most of you. Um, it's like this person is just detaching from whatever, whatever does not make them happy, basically. Um, I do see them wanting some kind of, some kind of a reconciliation here. I feel like that, that would be with you, but it feels to them like, it's coming through as it feeling a little bit, um, Okay, so if this person is not really moving forward towards you, if you feel like this person has pulled away, it feels like it's related to guilt. It's almost like this person just feels like it would be sneaky. It would be a little bit maybe manipulative or a little bit um, just getting away with something that they shouldn't get away, away with if they were to make a move towards you at this moment, or if they were to make a bigger move or be more open or be more um, loving. And so I feel like that's why they might be holding a little bit of a distance from you. Let me see the Eight of Swords. the Three of Wands, and the King of Swords. Okay, yeah, so as I was, <laughs> it's interesting. Um, both the Queen and the King of Swords. So this is like back to what I was saying in the in the beginning, all right, before I clarified. Um, there's a lot of clarity. There's a lot of clarity and there's a lot of rational thinking when it comes to this situation and the fact that they have been keeping themselves bound. I feel like this person, um, they might be stressing a little bit because they think about the future and they think about what may or may not happen. It's like overanalyzing the future. And again, this is reminding me of Leo, maybe Aries. I can't remember. Um, definitely one of the other fire signs. So maybe this person um, is is a fire sign as well. It doesn't have to be. Could definitely also be air sign because I do see some swords here for them. Could be any sign though, okay? Don't get stuck on the signs. But yeah, this person is definitely very much aware of the fact that they are keeping themselves stuck in a situation that does not make them happy and actually here it is them wanting to walk away from that them detaching from what does not make them happy wanting to sneak away from that it's almost like with this three of cups it's also coming in as um wearing a mask you know just putting up a front making it look like you know yeah you know everything's fine and dandy like that's just how it appears on the surface but deep down this person it just really wants to get away from that So their blockages, I mean, could be anything. And for each of them, it's going to be different. Um, definitely something, there's something very powerful that is keeping them there. And for the most part, I feel like it's going to have to do with their deep-rooted beliefs. For others, it might be religion, cultural issues, society, programming, those types of things. So let's see what is coming up here. Let's see the Five of Pentacles. All right, we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you might you might find yourself feeling a little bit like you're the one left alone, okay, if this person has not resolved this issue yet. Okay, that, and again, the Three of Pentacles, again, feels like a third party. It doesn't have to be a person, but there's definitely a third party situation, okay? Um, so you might feel a little bit like you are the one who is left alone. But again, I don't, I don't feel like that is really what is going on here. All right, you're you're feeling this way, yes. But you are you are really moving forward. 
you're really moving forward here, okay, with that Six of Swords in a way that is just moving this whole connection to calmer waters into something more peaceful. And not only that, you have the Knight of Cups here coming in. So let's clarify that. Could be this person. <clears throat> the Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, and Death. Okay, so actually I do feel like it is the same person um, coming in and pretty much opening up their heart, possibly just to communicate with you. I mean, I'm not sure if they're going to fully express everything, but I do see them coming in with um, some confusion, to be honest, um, some guilt, feeling sorrow, feeling grief about an ending so actually it feels like even this message here with that three of swords it could be an ending here for your person um it's interesting though because i still don't i i don't feel like now it's like okay now we're together happily ever after i don't see that either just yet but i do see this person coming in at least being um a little bit more open emotionally about how it is that they feel possibly about about this situation that they're involved with ending. It doesn't mean that it has ended when they do this. It's just how they how they would feel about it ending or about the fact that it is in the process of transforming and that they understand and they have this clarity that it needs to end. Okay, so even though it's the Knight of Cups, I feel like this energy is going to come in with a bit of with a bit of grief, a bit of sorrow. This person might even feel guilty towards you. And they may express that as well. All right, let's see the Six of Swords. Because I do see something. It does feel like something's being resolved. Just not that there's a happy, you know, um, ending just yet. All right, so clarifying the Six of Swords, we have the King of Wands, okay, nice, and the Eight of Cups. All right, so that's actually very, very positive here because there is an overcoming of challenges, an overcoming of whatever was difficult, a moving in a new direction and leaving things that don't serve us behind. Taking the more difficult road. And whatever it is, I mean, and, and that's what matters, is that it is for the highest good. And I see that. And I just had the Ten of Cups flip over. So that's, that's, that's here with the Three of Swords. So yes, there's a lot of pain for somebody here. But then ultimately there's, there's fulfillment. There's that perfect happiness, all right, which is that Ten of Cups, which is what started off this reading for your energy. So yeah, I mean, and just like I said, I see it, I see this more being your person, especially after having seen this energy here with that five of cups. All right, Sagittarius. So if this resonated, let's get your final message and please do give me a thumbs up if it did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment, let me know. All right, and we have the full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah. Feels like it's your person. Possibly you as well, but mostly I see it as being for your person. All right, Sagittarius, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.